Hello, my dear students, am I live? Yes, we'll wait for a few seconds for a few of the students to join in and then we will start with our topic of absorption by roots. Just one second, let me check if I am live. Yes. So my dear students, today uh, at the end I am going to announce you the launch of sample papers by ICSC and a few more very special announcements. But uh, let us start with our absorption by roots. So today we are going to learn the chapter absorption by roots for ICSC class 10 biology. So let us begin. So this chapter the absorption by roots is a part of plants physiology. Just a second. So this chapter is a part of plant physiology. So all the three chapters uh, like photosynthesis, absorption by roots, transpiration all belong to this. So this plant uh, physiology is a branch of biology which deals with life functions or metabolism of the plant. It includes the functioning of cells, tissues, organs, organ system and organism as a whole. So all these functions and when we study everything about plant, okay, its functioning, its structure, the type of tissues it has. So, all these studies combined will be known as plant physiology. Is that clear to you guys? Okay. So, this chapter belongs to plant physiology. Now, let us come on to the topic that is absorption by roots. So, my dear children, roots not only fix the plant in the soil and give it support. But the most important and life supporting function of roots is, what is it? To absorb water and mineral nutrients from the soil and conduct them into the stem for supply to leaves, flowers, fruits etc. So roots not only fix the plant in the soil and give it support, but the major important function of this is and which is a life supporting function. What is that life supporting function of the roots? It is to absorb water and mineral nutrients from the soil and conduct them into the stem for the supply to leaves, flowers, fruits, etc. Now, what is the need of water for plants? Why do plants need water? Why do we need roots to absorb water? Okay. So, water is a constituent of protoplasm, my dear children. What is protoplasm? We all know what is protoplasm, right? So, water is the main con constituent of the protoplasm. Water is needed inside the plant body for four purposes. There are four purposes why plant water is needed by a plant. Okay. The first is photosynthesis. The first function for uh, the first uh, need of water for plants is photosynthesis. Then it is transpiration. Then the third purpose is transportation and for mechanical stiffness. So for these four purposes, water is needed for the plants. So let us understand all these four purposes in detail now. So the first purpose is photosynthesis. We all know what photosynthesis is, right? Yes, we know what photosynthesis is, isn't it? And we have also done the whole chapter on photosynthesis. So water is the raw material for photosynthesis. We all know that a uh, plant, how does a leaf make food? Okay, it absorbs water from the soil with the help of roots. Okay, and sunlight is in presence of sunlight, it absorbs carbon dioxide as well. So, carbon dioxide and water reacts in the presence of sunlight to form carbohydrate and oxygen. That is photosynthesis. So, water is the main raw material. So, water is used up in the green leaves as a raw material in the synthesis of glucose. Okay, got it? Now, the second function, the picture itself shows very clearly is transpiration. We have also learned transpiration in detail. I have already uploaded a video on transpiration where I have taught transpiration in detail. So, what is transpiration? Whenever water evaporates from the aerial parts of the plant, okay, especially from the leaf surface, it is known as transpiration. Okay. So, a large quantity of water gets evaporated as water vapor during transpiration. Okay, for cooling in hot weather, for producing a suction force, etc. We have studied all this that transpiration leads to cooling. So we feel 
pole and you know, we feel relaxed under a tree, under a plant because it produces a cooling effect in the hot weather and for producing a suction force. So whenever water is transpirated from the leaves, okay, it creates a partial vacuum and that is why the roots are able to suck water. So it creates the suction force. So whenever there is uh, whenever water is evaporating from the leaf surface, there is partial vacuum and that is then that is how a suction force is created because water will move from high concentration to low concentration. Is that clear? <coughs> okay. Now the next function, the next is transport in plants. We know water helps in transport of many things in plants. See, transportation of substance in water solution from the roots upward into the shoot, like mineral salts. So mineral salts are there in the soil, and plants need minerals. So how does this mineral go up? Okay, it gets dissolved in the water, and then the water helps or aids in bringing these minerals upward into the shoot. Also, whenever the food is prepared by the leaves, the water helps to take the prepared food from leaves to all the other plants. Okay, so it helps to transport sugar from leaves to all the parts of the plant. Also, water helps to transport mineral salts from the soil to the shoots and the leaves. Is that very clear? The third point is clear to you all? Yes, I am not able to see the chats. I am not able to see your chats. Okay. Sorry. Alone Island Gaming is saying who is except me. Hello Roshik. I am so sorry. I was not able to see the chat. So I was thinking that none of the students have joined in. So hello Panmita. Great to have you here. Bacha. Ma'am, thoda Hindi mein batayin na please. Beta, there are a lot of students who have told me to explain in English. But I will go a little slow so that you understand each and everything because you are going to write the paper in English. So it is very important to understand all the English terms. Okay, before. But I will still try. If you have not understood something, please write in the comment section. I will explain it again. Okay. Yes, this uh, I am using a lot of books. I am using concise. Plus, I am using this uh, certificate biology book by Oswal Publishers. Okay, it has very amazing pictures and everything is written in a very lucid and very simple language. So, I have used this book as well. Okay, yes, what is the small request, Panmita? Okay, in presence of light, food is prepared. Yes, ma'am, a small request. Yes, tell me this request, Pita. Hello, Rupamani Harijin. Okay, I will uh, add few words in English and Hindi both. Okay, I will try. Hello, Harjot Singh. Hello, Sumita. Good evening. Okay, all is clear. Very good. No, I will not be teaching you geography, but I am bringing someone on board who will teach you geography. Okay, Panmita. Okay. So, Anka, uh, we are doing beta uh, absorption by roots. So, I have answered all your queries. Hello, Sumita. So, now let me go ahead. So, wherever we, I will just go back. Okay. So, why is water needed for plants, for photosynthesis, for transpiration, for transportation and for mechanical stiffness? So, for photosynthesis, water is needed. For transpiration also, water is needed. For transport in plants also water is needed and now for mechanical stiffness as well. Yes, Panmita, I am making an arrangement for teaching you geography, especially topography and especially the chapter climate of India. And I am in talking terms with some of the teachers who are taking up geography. Yes, Harini, uh, you have to attend on time every day for the quick recap. Okay, because I have covered a lot right now. Okay, so for you, I will just quickly go through the recap quickly. Okay, for you. Okay, see, we are doing absorption by roots chapter for ICC class 10 biology. And this chapter comes under plant physiology. So, whenever we study anything about plants and the structure, the functioning, everything that is plant physiology, then absorption by roots, we know that roots not only fix the plant in the soil, giving it support. 
but the most important and life supporting function of roots is to absorb water and mineral nutrients from the soil and to conduct them into the stem for supply to leaves flowers fruits etc to bachcho mcq mein ye question zarur pucha ja sakta hai ki which is the most important or which is the life supporting function of roots and they can give you many options okay so our answer should be in absorbing water and mineral nutrients from the soil and conducting them upwards okay so after doing this chapter so today i am doing part 1 day after tomorrow i'll be doing part 2 after that i will be using this book to do chapter wise last year questions okay chapter wise last year questions we will do according to the reduced syllabus only and then we will also take up a lesson for mcqs okay because now the board has changed the pattern and now we have already got the bifurcated portion as well so we will do mcqs also of all the chapters so first we will finish the portion of the chapters that are remaining of which i have not made the video and then we will go ahead with all this so now what is the need of water for plants water is needed for these four purposes photosynthesis transpiration transportation and mechanical synthesis so we know water is a raw material or raw ingredient for the photosynthesis because how do leaves make food they absorb water from the soil uh, carbon dioxide from the air and in presence of sunlight they prepare carbohydrate or glucose and oxygen okay then in transpiration water is needed we have already studied transpiration in detail where i have explained you that transpiration brings about cooling and it helps in producing a suction force karan kumar i am just waiting for my textbooks to arrive i have ordered certain books from oswal publishers so that you know the mcq books they have just launched that so i am waiting for the books to arrive and as soon as the books arrive we will just begin with the quizzes so by the time we will just prepare with the chapters and i am only making live sessions of all those chapters which i have not made a video of so keep on covering the topics by seeing my videos and then we will quickly start with mcq once i have finished with all the remaining topics of your bifurcated portion then transportation water is required and then for mechanical stiffness water is required now read these lines very carefully water provides turgidity what is turgidity fully distended condition i will explain this part very much in detail in part 2 of this lesson so water provides turgidity or fully distended condition because the stiffness why the leaves do not droop why the leaves are very stiff because of turgidity so who brings turgidity water so water provides turgidity that is fully distended condition which is necessary for the stiffness of plant tissues i hope till now everything is clear harsh dalmia i have explained lenticels in detail i have given you the pictures also of lenticels in my chapter of transpiration so go and see that transpiration chapter very well it will explain you everything okay okay rohit wants ma'am rohit is saying ma'am photosynthesis kijiye na thoda jaldi exams aa rahe hain sure beta in the whole month of september i'll be doing classes just that tomorrow is a very hectic day for me after tomorrow i am continuously coming up with classes every single day okay so i'll do that photosynthesis the ppt is already made i will do that okay so now see this picture all of you so this is how a turgid plant looks like all the leaves are in distended condition and you see this this is a flaccid plant so the if you see the cells very carefully can you see there is a lot of water here in the vacuole so when the water is there the the leaf cell is in a turgid condition this is how we call a turgid cell and this is how a flaccid cell looks like where there is a very less water and it is like murjaya okay okay most welcome harini okay let's go ahead good evening rishikesh hello dakshita saksena now we have studied what is the need of water for plants now let us study for need of minerals for plants why are minerals required okay so this is also a very important question from mcq point of view so mineral required the mineral nutrients required by the plant are absorbed from the soil by roots only 
So only and only roots can absorb the minerals which are required for the plants. Okay, how roots can absorb from the soil? It cannot directly break from air. Okay, it has to absorb from soil. So some of these nutrients are absorbed as salts. So even if there are some nutrients available in the air, even if some minerals are available in the air, they first get converted into their respective salts, then they dissolve in the soil and then from soil the roots are able to take it up. Okay. So some of these nutrients are absorbed as salts. Which type of salts? Nitrates, phosphates, sulfates, etc. And some are simply present as ions like potassium ion, calcium, magnesium, chlorine. Otherwise, it is in the form of potassium nitrate, potassium phosphate, potassium sulfate and so on. So, minerals are present in two forms, in the form of salt as well as, as simple ions. Okay, now why do we need, why do we require these minerals? This is the answer. These elements are required as constituents of cell and cell organelles as well as in the synthesis of a variety of compounds or enzymes within the cell. Yes, Karan, I will tell you. So, these elements are required by because they are a part of the cell. The cell, the cell, it is the constituent of the cell and the cell organelles. Different organs of the cell are made up of these minerals. And also it helps in the synthesis or the production of various enzymes and compounds. So, Karen, uh, this is the book that I will refer, refer you. This is what I will be using in uh, taking your most important questions. So, this is a chapter wise last year's soil papers according to the strict reduced syllabus. So, you don't have to go through the big books that you had earlier. You can buy such books. Uh, what I will do is I will give the link in the description box of these books. And I am also, also ordered MCQ books. So, as soon as they come, I will give you the links of those books as well. Okay, Karan? You are understanding well, Anuradha? Very good. Hello, Super Speedy. So, I hope till now you are understanding the things very well. So, this is a very important slide because for MCQs, we have to look at very small, minute things as well. Okay? So, how are these nutrients absorbed? They can be absorbed only through soil by roots. They are present in two forms, in the forms of their salts or directly as ions. Okay, why are they required? They are required because they are the constituent of the cell and cell organelles and they are used in the production or the synthesis of various compounds and enzymes within the cell. Okay, now what is it so special about roots that it can absorb water so well? So, we are studying the characteristics of roots for absorbing water. Okay. So, the ability of the roots to draw water from the soil is dependent on three characteristics. Okay. The first characteristic is huge surface area provided by rootlets and root hair. So, the roots, you have seen roots. The roots have small rootlets and on the small rootlets you have root hairs. So, they provide a large surface area. Then, they, the root hairs contains cell sap. Okay, what is cell sap? It is a liquid or a solution gel like substance which is present inside the root sap at a concentration higher than that of the surrounding soil water. So, uska the concentration of the root cell sap ka, wo zyada hota hai. Matlab, uspe minerals wagera, salt wagera zyada hai, paani kam hai. Water is less, but what is more concentrated? Salts. Okay, so if water is less in the root, and water is more outside, so water will move from high concentration to the low concentration. I will explain you this point in detail later on. What is the third characteristic of root? That it has thin walls. The root hair has thin walls, so water can go inside very easily. Okay. Now, let us come on to the first point. So, what was the first point? Huge surface area. So, we are doing now all the three points in detail. The first point was huge or large surface area provided by rootlets and root hair. Okay. So, I have taken some of the things from this book as well and some from your Selena book as well. So, this book especially for uh, our chapter circulatory and all, the diagrams and all are very good in this book. So, what I will do is I will give you a link of this book as well in the uh, description box. So, after the class, is after our live session is over, you will be able to see the description because 
we will require good textbooks for our semester 2 for our term 2 and even for this mcqs you have to study a lot from many textbooks with them because question mcq question can be asked from anywhere and also icsc has already published our sample papers today itself it was published on the website so you can go on icsc website and see those sample papers they are really tough okay so let's go ahead Shruti, I will explain now. Osmosis diffusion and inhibition, inhibition will come now. Okay? So you are not late, it will come now. Okay, see, the first point. What is that we are studying characteristic of roots and we are doing first point. So surface area of root is enormous. Even a small garden plant such as balsamy. If you see this diagram, you can see there are, this is the primary root, the main root. Okay? Then you can see there are lateral roots. Then on this, you, can you see root hairs? Okay. So the surface area of roots is enormous because of presence of all these. Even a small garden plant such as balsam, when gently uprooted, so when you uproot gel, balsam and see, it shows a thick bunch of rootlets that is branch roots. So when carefully examined, each rootlet would show hundreds of root hairs. And if you join all the root heads, okay, all the root heads you end, end to end, then you would, it would cover a length of many, many kilometers. So, it provides a very large surface area. Okay. So, botanist H.J. Nickmer, okay, in 1937 worked out that a four-month-old ray plant, this is how a ray plant looks like, had an aggregate root length of about 600 kilometers. Can you believe this? A ray plant is such a small plant. Okay. Can you see it has fibrous roots. It does not have a lateral root system. It has a fibrous root system. So if you join each and every rootlet and put it. It makes about 600 kilometer. Okay. Now the number of root heads. So I am just adding the rootlets. It becomes 600 kilometer. But if in each rootlet if you take the small root heads. And if you join those root heads, then it exceeded 14 billion. There are there were 14 billion root heads. And if I added all those, if I made them jo join and make a straight line, then the total length would exceed 10,000 kilometer. Can you imagine the total surface area it covers? Okay, it is so important. Okay, it has a large, large, large surface area. So, this example gave you a rough idea of how large the surface area is. So, thus, altogether, the roots of any plant provide a huge surface area to facilitate the absorption of water. So, this is the first point that you should remember. This was the example to explain you the concept well. Now, the next point is higher concentration of cell sap in root hair. I told you. In the root hairs, there is some liquid. That liquid is known as cell sap. Now, in that liquid, lot of ions, lot of salts is there. So, if the concentration of salt is higher, then the concentration of water will be less. Okay. So, if I take a water glass and fill it with a lot of salts there. Okay. Then I say the concentration is high. But when I say the concentration is high, it means the water concentration is less. So, don't get confused here. Are you guys understanding everything? Are you guys understanding? Yes? Are you guys understanding everything? Please keep on writing in the comment section. So, my dear children, how does this higher concentration of cell sap help? So, root hair contains cell sap of a higher concentration than that of surrounding water. So, when I say higher concentration, it means the concentration of salt and mineral, not water. Okay. Then, root hairs are not, they are extensions of outer epidermal cells of the root. And they also contain large vacuoles. And these vacuoles are also filled with cell sap. Now, some salts are dissolved in it. And the cell sap therefore usually has a concentration higher than that of surrounding water. So, this characteristic is very important requirement to draw in water from outside for the occurrence of osmosis. Yes, now since the cell sap is higher in concentration of salt, so it is lower in concentration of water. 
okay so water is outside in the soil in the soil the water is more so water will move from its higher concentration to lower concentration in the root so that is why water will show osmosis and will enter the roots is that is this point very clear to all of you yes is this point clear to you shruti sharma now your topics will come so remain glued now the next characteristic that that we have done is that we have read about uh, the roots is that roots have have thin walls okay can you see the diagram here there is uh, so these are the epidermal cells what are the epidermal cells which are there on the outside okay so can you see there is cell wall and cell membrane so cell wall is also present cell membrane is also present and we are talking about thin walls okay so can you see this is the extended thin this cell is an extended root hair okay this is a fully grown root hair so thank you prahla a uh, karan kumar is telling me to take session in day time as more students get can get benefited karan kumar most students are there in the schools and attending other lectures in the day time and even i am giving a lot of other personal lectures to my students so i am free at this time and even you are free at this time so this is the best time i think to study we will meet every day at 8:00 okay so have your meal earlier we will meet every day at this time tomorrow i will i may upload a recorded video but from day after tomorrow i will be there every day with you so like all plant cell roots hair also have two outer layers a cell wall and cell membrane okay cell wall is thin and permeable now this is very very important जो आउटर लेयर है सेल वॉल है वो बहुत थिन है द सेल वॉल इज थिन एंड परमिएबल इट इज परमिएबल इट अलाउज एवरीथिंग टू कम इन एंड गो आउट इट अलाउज मूवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड डिजॉल्व सब्सटेंसेस फ्रीली इन एंड आउट ऑफ द सेल ओके देन द सेल मेम्ब्रेन उसके अंदर वाला जो लेयर है कैन यू सी द डायग्राम देयर इज सेल वॉल एंड सेल मेम्ब्रेन सो सेल मेम्ब्रेन इज वेरी थिन दिस इज आल्सो थिन बट दिस इज सेमी परमिएबल ओके सेल वॉल इज फ्रीली परमिएबल cell membrane is semi permeable which means it allows water molecules to pass through but not the larger molecules of the dissolved solid it will allow only water to pass through but not the solids but cell wall will allow everything this is very important from mcq point of view okay now the very important main topic okay shruti sharma is there because you had requested for all this imbibition diffusion osmosis and all this so i will be going ahead with these topics now so my dear children the entire mechanism of absorbing water absorbing water and minerals from the soil its movement through the thickness of the root and subsequently upward conduction through the stem is the result of five main phenomena to pani aur nutrients ko soil mein se kheech ke roots lata hai usko upar le jata hai aur sabhi jagah conduct karta hai uske liye ye panch phenomena sabse main hai this is this process is the result of these five phenomena so what are these five phenomena imbibition diffusion osmosis active transport turgidity and flexibility now we will talk about all five of these phenomena in detail shruti sharma one please once again explain of the previous point which point beta shruti which point you want me to explain root hair have thin walls Yes, entertaining YT shorts. I will explain. I will take live lecture on cell cycle as well. Hello, Arha Sharma. Okay, so let me take now all these topics. So first, I am taking imbibition. Okay, I am taking imbibition. Now, what is imbibition? Pay attention, hundred percent attention. So here is the activity which is there in this book as well as well as in your Selina book. So in a beaker of water, you have taken dry seeds. Okay. any seeds you can take you can take black grams any seeds you take and after some time you will see that the seeds have swollen also when you plant a seed okay after some time you see that seed pod burst because it has absorbed water and a small uh, rootlet and a uh, small plantlet grows from it so how does it happen this is because of the phenomena of imbibition Okay, so Vishal Patel is telling me to do activate your windows. Yes. Okay, hello Rohan. 
So now I I have remembered some of your names. So do come in my live class daily so that you know I remember your names and we can connect more. So imbibition is with is a phenomena by which living or dead plant cells absorb water by surface attraction. Pay attention very very well here on the definition. So imbibition, कौन कौन से cell perform कर सकते हैं? Dead plant cells as well as living plant cells. Both of them can perform imbibition. What is imbibition? Cells absorb water by surface attraction. Okay, what is surface attraction? The surface, the surface of the dry seeds will attract water. Okay, so this is the principle behind imbibition. So they say, what is the principle behind imbibition? Surface attraction. Now, why does surface attract water? See, all the substances which are made up of cellulose or proteins. Okay, and we know cell wall is made up of cellulose, right? So all the substances which are made up of cellulose or proteins are hydrophilic. Philic means loving. Hydro means water. So water loving. All the substances made up of cellulose or proteins are water loving. Hydrophilic. They have a strong affinity for water. So they attract water and they absorb water by surface attraction. And even living and dead dead plant cells both can do this. So is imbibition clear to all of you? Is imbibition clear to all of you? Yeah, yeah. I C C candid biology book textbook is also good. Selina is also good. Okay. Yes, dear. I know that board exams are there in November. That is why now I have started with the bifurcated portion. So we will just do the bifurcated portion for whatever is there in the for your November portion. That is why we will do M C Qs. And this book is also good. Someone is asking me. Okay, this book is also good by this is by Oswal Publishers. And for your practice, for your coming ICC exams, this book is also very good because it has all the previous year questions according to the reduced syllabus only. Okay, let's go ahead. So they imbibe water. This is the word we use. These uh, seeds they imbibe water. Imbibe water means they attract their surfaces attract water. Okay, they imbibe water or moisture and swell up. So example is dry seeds. Then even your wooden doors. So, बारिश के time में भी, do you see that your doors swell up, फूँक जाते हैं, ठीक है? This is also because of imbibition. और door का वो तो dead cell है, है ना? Dead plant cell है. So dead plant cell also show imbibition, right? So dry seeds, wooden doors swell up on contact with water or on exposure to moist air. Now due to imbibitional pressure, the seed coat ruptures in the case of germinating seed. And it is also important force in the ascent of sap. I have also explained ascent of sap in my transpiration chapter. So imbibition ki vajay se a pressure develop hota hai, jis ki vajay se seed ko rupture ho jata hai, aur fir ho germinate hota hai. Thik hai? Aur imbibition also bhoot important hai in the ascent of sap. Is the is imbibition clear to all of you? Is imbibition clear to you? What happens, Sumita? Sumita is saying, I will give zero points to this. I am from uh, Joy is saying, I am from Bangladesh. I am also in class ten in Bangladeshi school. Very good. Sumita, what happened? Better write properly so that I understand that what is your concern. Better, please write in the comment section. Anuradha is saying me, please explain imbibition once more. Is this clear? Now I have explained once more, Anuradha. Okay, Anuradha is telling me to explain once more. I will explain. Okay, Sumita. So sorry, I did not see your doubt. What is your doubt? Hello, Sudha Singh. Okay, Anuradha is telling me to explain once more. I am so sorry, Sumita. I was busy in explaining. That is why I didn't read your comment. So please. Right in the comment section again, Rita. Please understand. No, Sumita, I can't take this class again, Rita. Tomorrow at two because I am taking other classes at that time. So this is the only time which is free in my schedule at eight thirty. So you can watch the recorded session later on. Now all of you, thank you, Sudarshan. Thank you, Harini. 
Now I am explaining inhibition again. Listen to me. All my students pay attention. Inhibition is very important. So inhibition is that phenomena which is exhibited by living as well as dead plant cell. So living other plant cell hai ya dead plant cell hai, dono inhibition show karega. Okay. Now iska principle kya hai inhibition ka surface attraction. So jo bhi cells, okay, jo bhi cells cellulose ya proteins the bane hote hain. So cellulose and protein has this ability to attract water. Okay, it has, they are hydrophilic. Proteins and cellulose are hydrophilic. Hydro means water, philic means loving. They love water, so they attract water very easily. Okay, so all the substances, which substances? Proteins and cellulose are hydrophilic, they attract water. And imbibition is when the plant absorb water by surface attraction. Is that clear? Is that clear? So all these cells which have cellulose, we know plant has cellulose, right? Cell wall is made up of cellulose. So they will absorb water by surface attraction. So we say they imbibe water. We don't say they absorb water. We will say they imbibe water. That is they absorb water through surface attraction. And then they swell up. Is that clear? Is that clear? Uh, Sumitra? Uh, I might not be able to take a class tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very hectic schedule for me, but I will try my level best to take part two of this tomorrow. And then after tomorrow, I will not have any break. We will keep on doing this except for Sundays. We will just give, take a break on Sunday and I will keep on doing this Monday to Saturday. Okay, at 8.30. I have taken enough breaks. There were many glitches, many technical issues. Even my health issues were there. So I'm very sorry for not being able to continue after I promised. So, but now from day after tomorrow, it will be continuous. Now, the second phenomena is diffusion. If you all have understood imbibition very well, let me go to diffusion. What is diffusion? Diffusion is the free movement of molecules of a substance. Now, kiska free movement? Wo solute bhi ho sakta hai, solvent bhi ho sakta hai, gas bhi ho sakta hai, liquid bhi ho sakta hai. Okay? So diffusion is the free movement of molecules of a substance from region of their higher concentration to the region of their lower concentration when the two are in direct contact. Okay? Yes, I will do chemistry as well. Now see here, diffusion kya hai? Molecules of any substance. Substance can be solute, can be solvent, can be gas, can be liquid. So whenever there is free movement of molecules of a substance from a region of their higher concentration to the region of the lower concentration when the two are in direct contact is known as diffusion. Just say that you are in a corner if you are putting a bottle in one corner, what happens? The smell is a little bit in the room. So, where the bottle is in the corner, there is higher concentration and then soon it will travel to all the areas of the room. Okay, this is diffusion. So, if you see this example, there is water in this beaker. Sorry. And I have brought potassium permanent, it is a purple violet color solution. So when or even if you drop an ink drop, you will see that initially here concentration is higher, but then it will keep it is a free movement of molecules. So molecules will travel to all the places and soon you will get a homogeneous solution like this. Now if you stir it, the diffusion rate will become faster. Okay, yes, I will take daily class. First, let me finish this full chapter, then I will come on to chemistry. I have left pulleys also in between because I could not make the PPT and this PPT was ready. So, I took up this, then I will complete pulleys and then I will go on to chemistry. So, see, this exercise is there in your textbook. This experiment is there in your textbook. So, if you draw a dye molecule, okay, colored molecule or if you draw a, a dye, a solid piece also, okay, the dries, um, a piece, a solid piece or a liquid, then you see here the concentration is higher and here the concentration is less. So soon it will spread into, soon it will spread from higher concentration to lower concentration and now you see an equilibrium is maintained here. So if you take a sugar cube also or a small tablet of soluble dye or this is a drop of crystal, or a drop of crystal permanent in a beaker which is containing water in one corner. This I have taken potassium permanganate solution. Okay. So if you take such a sugar cube or a small tablet of soluble dye and place it in one corner, what do you observe? 
sorry you observe this okay now let us talk about osmosis yes let us talk about osmosis now there is a huge difference between osmosis and diffusion many students get confused in osmosis and diffusion so pay attention here osmosis is the movement of water molecules from the region of higher concentration what is the region of their higher concentration okay see dilute solution और विद अ लोअर सोल्यूट कंसेंट्रेशन तो जब हम बोलते हैं कि इस, इस uh, पानी के ग्लास में नमक ज्यादा है तो हम बोलते हैं कि कंसेंट्रेशन ज्यादा है बट उसका मतलब है कि नमक का कंसेंट्रेशन ज्यादा है पानी का कंसेंट्रेशन कम है तो पानी कहाँ से कहाँ मूव करेगा पानी वहां से मूव करेगा जहां उसका कंसेंट्रेशन ज्यादा है तो उसका कंसेंट्रेशन जहां कम है तो वॉटर विल मूव फ्रॉम अ डायल्यूटेड सोल्यूशन टू अ कंसेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन वेन दे बोथ आर ब्रॉट इन कॉन्टेक्ट एंड देर इज अमी पॉमेबल मेमोरी इन बिटवीन दैम आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस सो ऑस्मोसिस कौन शो करता है सिर्फ वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल शो करते हैं आपने जब डिफ्यूजन पढ़ा था देखो डिफ्यूजन की डेफिनेशन में देखो डिफ्यूजन हर किसी का होता है सोल्यूट सोलवेंट गैस लिक्विड सब का लेकिन ऑस्मोसिस किसका होता है ऑस्मोसिस इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ वॉटर या वाटर के अलावा कुछ और सॉल्वेंट भी होते हैं मैं आगे आपको बताऊंगी सो ऑस्मोसिस इज द मूवमेंट ऑफ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल फ्रॉम द रीजन ऑफ हायर कंसेंट्रेशन दैट इज देयर हायर कंसेंट्रेशन मतलब डाइल्यूट सॉल्यूशन अगर एक डाइल्यूट सॉल्यूशन है मतलब उसमें पानी का कंसेंट्रेशन ज्यादा है अ डाइल्यूट कंसेंट्रेट डाइल्यूट सॉल्यूशन विल हैव मोर कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर अ कंसेंट्रेटेड सॉल्यूशन विल हैव लेस कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर इज दैट क्लियर So, पानी कहां से कहा मूव करेगा उनके हायर कंसेंट्रेशन पानी के हायर कंसेंट्रेशन टू द रीजन ऑफ पानी के लोअर कंसेंट्रेशन और पानी का लोअर कंसेंट्रेशन क्या है जो कि कंसेंट्रेटेड सॉल्यूशन है या जिसमें सॉल्यूट का कंसेंट्रेशन ज्यादा है थ्रू अ सेमी परमेबल मेम्ब्रेन इज दैट क्लियर हेलो सुधा सिंह आई वॉन्ट टू सेंड फोर के सुपर चैट यस प्लीज सेंड Yes, you can. I will. I have a, uh, started super chat as well as, as my audience get bigger and bigger. We will start super chat. Okay. So Sudha Singh, you can send me super chat when we are close to the exam or even after your exam. You can send me so that because uh, you have gained a lot from the class. Okay. So after you have gained a lot, then you send me. Okay, let us uh, read this osmosis once again. So osmosis is the movement of water molecules from the region of the higher concentration to their region of the lower concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. So now, here, you have an example. See, this red dotted line is a semi-permeable membrane. Here, you see where is the water moving? Okay, water is moving. From their higher concentration. यहाँ पे देखो क्या सोल्यूट कम है है ना यहाँ पे सोल्यूट कम है यहाँ सोल्यूट ज्यादा है तो पानी का कंसेंट्रेशन कहाँ ज्यादा था पानी का कंसेंट्रेशन यहाँ ज्यादा है सो वॉटर विल मूव फ्रॉम इट्स हायर कंसेंट्रेशन टू इट्स लोअर कंसेंट्रेशन सो यू सी दिस लेवल हैज राइज ओके यस आई हैव अ टेलीग्राम चैनल आई हैव अ टेलीग्राम चैनल एंड आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू ज्वाइन माई टेलीग्राम चैनल Because once we are doing MCQ polls, I will give you certificates on the Telegram channel. Okay. Hello, Kaluru, Kaluru, Monica. Most welcome. Okay. So, is this clear to you? Osmosis is clear to you. So, only water molecules move from higher concentration, whether in dilute solution or in pure water, to their lower concentration in the stronger solution, or just a solution in relation to pure water. so here you are able to see that solute did not travel only water travel that is why it is known as osmosis so here is the difference between osmosis and diffusion see here okay in osmosis can you see there is a semi permeable membrane and in osmosis do you see only water molecules are traveling can you see can you see this or arrow only water molecules are traveling solute is not able to travel but in case of diffusion there is no semi permeable membrane so the solute can also travel from its higher concentration to lower concentration is that very clear to all my dear students the difference between osmosis and diffusion is clear to all of you i do not run my insta so frequently sudha 
Uh, Sudha, my telegram link is in the description of this video, of this class. So you can go in the description box and click and get go in the telegram channel. Okay, is that clear? Okay. So osmosis and diffusion is completely clear. Then only I'll go ahead. Please all of you write in the comment section that osmosis and diffusion is clear or not. Yes, please show me some some love. Write in the comment section if this is clear or not. Is it clear? Yes. Hello, Akhil. Is it clear? Great. So let us go ahead. Now I told you only water can travel. But there are solutions having solvents other than water can also show osmosis. The solvent molecules will move from higher to lower concentration. Here also the solvent will move. Okay, not the solute. Through a semi-permeable membrane specific to their size. So they will move only if they have a semi-permeable membrane which is specific to their size. If, if the semi-permeable membrane allows that solvent to pass through them, then only they can move. Okay, yeah it is clear. Okay, very good. Now, what is endosmosis? There are two terms, there are two types of osmosis, endosmosis and exosmosis. What is endo? Endo means inward. And osmo, what does osmo word mean? Osmo means push or thrust. So endo is inward and osmo means push or thrust. So endosmosis is the inward diffusion of water through a semi-permeable membrane. When the surrounding solution is less concentrated and this tends up to swell the swell up the cell. So, जब पानी बाहर की surrounding से cell के अंदर आता है, तो cell swell हो जाता है. This process is known as endosmosis. Is endosmosis clear? Inward if you inward movement of water is known as endosmosis. Okay. Thank you, Sudha. So, can you see here? The water is moving inside the cell. This is endosmosis. Now, what is exosmosis? Exo means outward. And osmo we know is fossa thrust. So, exosmosis is the outward diffusion of water through a semi-permeable membrane when the surrounding solution is more concentrated. And this tends to cause shrinkage of the cell. So, if you see this, can you see the water has moved out? The water has moved out. क्योंकि हो सकता है कि अंदर पानी ज्यादा है और बाहर पानी कम है ओके सो वॉटर इज मूव फ्रॉम इट्स हायर कंसेंट्रेशन टू द लोअर कंसेंट्रेशन सो दिस इज नॉन एज एक्सॉस्मोसिस एक्सॉस्मोसिस कॉजेस श्रिंकेज ऑफ द सेल ओके सो सुदर्शन इज टेलिंग मी टू एक्सप्लेन एंडोस्मोसिस अगेन व्हाट शेयर सुदर्शन एंडोस्मोसिस मतलब इनवर्ड पुश सो वॉटर इज पुश इनसाइड तो वॉटर कब पुश इनसाइड होगा नाउ से यंग Wait. Okay. So here is some water outside. There is some water inside. Now, if outside water concentration is more, okay, outside water concentration is more, and inside water concentration is less, then the water will move like this inside. Okay, from its higher concentration to lower concentration. जब cell के अंदर पानी चला जाएगा तो cell swell हो जाएगा. Correct? And the process is clear to you. Yes, Lehana Mubi, most of the schools follow that. Is this clear to you? Endosmosis is clear. Now, what is exosmosis? When the water moves out through a semi-permeable membrane. So, where is the semi-permeable membrane? Can you see this cell membrane? Our cell membrane is a semi-permeable membrane. Okay? So, exosmosis mein kya hota hai? Paani bahar hai. Paani ka concentration andar zada hai aur bahar kam hai to bahar se अंदर से बाहर आए ओके इज दैट क्लियर ओके लेट्स गो अहेड वॉट इज द यूज ऑफ दिस इन आर डेली लाइफ अखिल दिस इज दिस फिनोमिना एक्सप्लेन वाई वेन वी कीप रेजिन इन वॉटर दे स्वेल अप एंड दिस दिस इज यूज इन पिकलिंग सो वेन वी वॉन्ट टू मेक पिकल्स और वेन वी वॉन्ट टू प्रिजर्व सम थिंग्स ओके लिसन टू दिस अखिल वेरी Clearly, very, uh, very important thing it is. जब हम अचार बनाते हैं तो हम क्या या फिर हम किसी चीजों को ड्राई करते हैं तो क्या करते हैं लॉट ऑफ सॉल्ट ऑन इट सो वेन वी पुट अट ऑफ सॉल्ट ऑन इट ओके वॉट है अंदर पानी का कंसेंट्रेशन 
क्या हो जाता है क्या हो जाता है अगर हम सॉल्ट डाल रहे हैं सो ऑल द वॉटर फ्रॉम इन साइड गोज आउट तो पानी बाहर खींच चला जाता है सो वेन वॉटर गोज आउट देर इज नो वॉटर इन साइड ओके वॉटर इट बिकम्स डीहाइड्रेटेड ओके तो डिहाइड्रेटेड चीजों को स्टोर करना बहुत ईजी होता है सो दिस इज वेर दिस इज हेल्पफुल इन आर डेली डे टू डे लाइफ यस अगेनी आई टेक मैथमेटिक्स एज वेल एक्चुअली आई टीच मैथमेटिक्स ऑन अन अकेडमी प्लेटफॉर्म सो आफ्टर फिनिशिंग योर साइंस कोर्सेस आई विल गो ऑन टू मैथमेटिक्स नाउ दिस इज द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दिस इज द एक्सपेरिमेंट इन योर टेक्सट बुक विच एक्सप्लेन ऑस्मोसिस ओके so along with selena bachcha i use this book as well someone was asking me which books do you use so i use this book as well along with selena okay this is oswal certificate biology book by oswal publishers okay this book has amazing pictures inside and the diagrams also are very clear and the language is also very clear that is why i use this book as well okay now let us read this experiment using osmosis so in this experiment what do we do see we take some concentrated sugar solution in the thistle funnel can you see a thistle funnel here thistle funnel looks something like this so it is an inverted otherwise thistle funnel looks like this you must have seen in many chem chemistry apparatus this is a thistle funnel okay let, let me rub this so you take a thistle funnel and fill it with just a second fill it with a sugar solution okay water and sugar dissolve in it then you have to cover the mouth of this thistle funnel can you see the mouth of the thistle funnel is covered with a cellophane paper now this is very 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 important from mcq point of view all of you pay attention agar aapko pucha jaye ki what are the different uh, semi permeable membranes so cellophane paper is a semi permeable membrane egg membrane aap anda dekhte ho ande ke upar cell wall hoti hai जब बॉइल अंडर में देखो सेल वॉल फूटती है तो अंदर एक सेल मेम्ब्रेन होती है सो मेम्ब्रेन इज आल्सो सेमी परमियेबल मेम्ब्रेन एनिमल ब्लैडर द ब्लैडर ऑफ एनी एनिमल इज आल्सो अ सेमी परमियेबल मेम्ब्रेन तो हम क्या करते हैं थिसल फनल लेते हैं उसके माउथ को टाई कर देते हैं विद अ सेलोफेन पेपर सेलोफेन पेपर एक्स लाइक अ सेमी परमियेबल मेम्ब्रेन अब हम इसको इन्वर्ट कर देते हैं इन अ बीकर कंटेनिंग वाटर तो अब इसके अंदर क्या है इट हैज शुगर सॉल्यूशन in the beaker what is there water is there okay and then we suspend it we hang it somewhere and then what we do we mark the level of sugar hum pehle sugar ka level mark karte hain fir isko andar suspend karte hain theek hai so mark the level of sugar solution on the stem of the thistle funnel this is the experimental setup to so, aisa ek setup banate hain in the same way we make one more setup now in the second setup we don't use sugar solution we use water only okay and that is known as your control that is we want we are keeping control why so that we can make easy comparison so as a control for comparison we will take another thistle funnel with plain water filled in it and then we suspend it in another beaker also containing water and we again mark the level on the stem uski stem pe bhi hum level mark kar denge to humne do beaker liye hain dono mein pani hai do thistle funnel liye hain एक में हमने डाला है शुगर सोल्यूशन एक में हमने पानी डाला है इज दैट क्लियर तो जिसमें शुगर सोल्यूशन है दैट इज एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप जिसमें वॉटर वॉटर है दैट इज योर कंट्रोल ओके दैट इज कंट्रोल इज दैट क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू आर थिंग्स गेटिंग क्लियर यस अहली दत्ता व्हाट इज द डाउट जेबा व्हाट इज योर क्वेश्चन ओके जस्ट लेट मी रीड द क्वेश्चंस बिकॉज़ आई वाज एक्सप्लेनिंग सो आई डिड नॉट रीड Zeba, I cannot see. Isn't it raising swelling when soaked in water imbibition? Yes, that is a part that uh, many see. It is showing a lot of phenomena. Okay, so that is imbibition as well. But uh, when we talk about only dead cells, then imbibition is uh, clearly seen there. Here, imbibition also takes place. Osmosis also takes place. Okay, when we soak raisin. ओके आई नीड दैट आई होप आई हैव आंसर्ड योर क्वेश्चन ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चंस लेट मी टेक सम क्वेश्चंस सुधा ओके आई नीड दैट व्हाट इज योर नेक्स्ट डाउट जेबा व्हाट इज योर डाउट आई डिड नॉट वेयर कैन आई हैव ब्लैडर फॉर आवर एक्सपेरिमेंटल थिंग्स वी डोंट यूज ब्लैडर डियर 
but if it is asked in the examination in the mcqs then you can answer that these all are the different examples of semi permeable membrane okay okay now aile that i have answered your question sudha answered okay let's go ahead so we have taken one control and we have taken one experiment now what happens after a few hours the level of sugar solution in the thistle funnel in the experimental setup will rise to aap kya dekhoge pehle yahan level tha this was the initial level can you see here on the diagram this was the initial level and now after some hours you will see that the level has risen yahan pe level rise ho gaya hai kyun kyunki yahan se pani inside enter hua tha here the water concentration is more outside the water concentration is less inside so water will move from high concentration to the low concentration of water so its level will rise to agar iska level rise hua hai to in the beaker the level of water will go down okay okay so now i will take menti after explaining the topics the level of water in the thistle funnel in the control will remain unchanged aur yahi agar hum कंट्रोल uh, वाले को देखेंगे तो कंट्रोल में हम देखेंगे कि इनिशियल लेवल जितना ही वाटर है द वाटर हैज नॉट रिजन ओके सो द लेवल ऑफ वाटर इन द थिसल फनल इन द कंट्रोल विल रिमेन अनचेंज द लेवल ऑफ वाटर इन द बीकर इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप विल ड्रॉप स्लाइटली ओके व्हाइल द वन इन द बीकर इन द कंट्रोल विल रिमेन अनचेंज क्योंकि कंट्रोल में वाटर ने ट्रैवल नहीं किया है क्योंकि उसमें अंदर भी पानी है बाहर भी पानी है तो वाटर इज एट द सेम कंसेंट्रेशन सो वाटर विल नॉट राइज ओके नाउ इफ द वाटर इन द बीकर इन द एक्सपेरिमेंटल सेटअप इज टेस्टेड इट इज नॉट फाउंड स्वीट तो अब अगर हम ये पानी को टेस्ट करेंगे तो इट विल नॉट बी स्वीट द वाटर इफ वी टेस्ट दिस वाटर इट विल नॉट बी स्वीट बिकॉज द सोल्यूट कैन नॉट ट्रेवल आउटसाइड ओनली वॉटर कैन ट्रेवल इन साइड इज दैट क्लियर Sugar solution is there. So sugar का solute cannot travel and cannot come outside. Only water can go. So this will not be sweet. Okay, is that clear? So what can we conclude from this experiment? What can we con conclude from this experiment? Wait, just a second. Okay, what can we So there are three main conclusions from this experiment. The first is in the experimental setup, some water of the beaker has passed through the cellophane paper to enter the thistle funnel containing the sugar solution. So that saying, please stop, uh, please stop messaging so much because I want genuine students and I want, I want to answer all their queries. So if you spam it like this. i will not be able to answer the queries so if you don't stop it i will report and i will have to remove you okay so let us go ahead so what is the first conclusion in the experimental setup some water of the beaker has passed through the cellophane paper to enter the thistle funnel containing the sugar solution to pani yahan se yahan andar move karega this is the first conclusion second sugar from the thistle funnel has not passed into the beaker this was the second conclusion sugar अंदर से बाहर नहीं आया है थर्ड इज सेलोफिन पेपर एज एक्टेड एज सेलोफिन पेपर ने कैसे एक्ट किया है एज अ सेलेक्टिवली और डिफरेंशियली परमिएबल मेम्ब्रेन इट हैज अलाउड ओनली वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स टू पास थ्रू बट नॉट द शुगर मॉलिक्यूल्स इज दैट क्लियर टू यू इज दैट क्लियर टू यू गाइज Okay, let us go ahead. Let us go ahead. Now the modified version of the same experiment. Now a more concentrated sugar solution is taken in the thistle funnel. So thistle funnel में मैंने और ज़्यादा concentrated sugar solution लिया और जो beaker था beaker में पानी नहीं लिया. What did I take? In the beaker I took less concentrated sugar solution. So in the beaker also I have sugar solution. In the thistle funnel also I have sugar solution. But in the thistle funnel, the sugar solution is more concentrated, and in the beaker, the sugar solution is less concentrated. Did you get it? So the result would still be same. Level of solution in the thistle funnel would rise because water कहाँ से कहाँ move करेगा? Water के high concentration से water के low concentration में. Is that clear? Is that clear? 
All of all the students, please write in the comment section if the modified version is clear. This is because some water from the less concentrated sugar solution in the beaker would move into the more concentrated sugar solution in the thistle funnel by crossing through the cellophane paper. Okay. Is this clear to all of you? I want all of you to write in the comment section because only Sudha Singh is spamming it. I want all of you to write in the comment section. Have you understood the modified version as well? Have you all understood this very well? Yes? Pratyusha, have you understood? Very good. Now, this is, now let's talk about the frequently asked questions from this topic. What would happen if the setup we had used? See, what would happen if in the setup we had used a rubber sheet instead of cellophane? So, cellophane ki jage, agar humne rubber sheet use ki hai, to kya hoga us experiment? See, no change in the level of sugar solution would occur as the rubber sheet is impermeable. What is the word you have to use? Impermeable. Impermeable means it will not permit anything to move in and out and would not allow water molecules from the beaker to cross over to the other side. Okay, is that clear? Is this clear? Is this clear? Okay. So, next frequently asked question. What would happen if in the setup we had used a muslin cloth? Abhi cellophane ki jage agar humne muslin cloth use kiya hai. So, Sudha Singh, please stop messaging continuously because I get distracted when I am teaching. Let me teach for the benefit of all the other students and for you. If you don't want to learn, you can leave the class. Okay? So, let us talk about frequently asked questions. So, I was talking about if instead of cellophane, if I take a muslin cloth, what will happen? The meshes or holes, which means holes are there, muslin cloth. Have you seen muslin cloth? Most of the time, your mommy uses it to filter water in the matkas that we use, the pots that we use. So, meshes or holes of the muslin cloth are so large that they would not hold back even the sugar molecules. And the entire sugar solution would flow down to a common level due to gravity. Okay? So, in the... Uh, in the thistle funnel, sugar solution was there. So, due to gravity, the sugar solution will come out. Okay? Because the muslin cloth will not be able to hold it. The pores or the meshes of the muslin cloth are so big that even the sugar molecules will go out. And it will become a common level due to gravity because muslin cloth is freely permeable. So, we have learned two terms. See this, rubber sheet was impermeable and muslin cloth is freely permeable. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay. So now, in the same, the same experiment can be performed at home. Agar aapke paas thistle funnel nahi hai. So how you can use, how you can do this experiment at home? Capillary uta hai, kapat na tube capillary we will take. And at the end of the capillary, we will tie a whisking bag. Whisking bag is a semi-permeable membrane. Whisking bag aapne use kiya hai? Mostly jo use hota hai, cakes pe decoration karne ke liye, right? Ya pe jalebiya banane ke liye, you use whisking bags, okay? So they are, they also act as a semi-permeable membrane. So ek patla capillary lo, us pe whisking bag tight maan do. Whisking bag ke andar aap kya da loge? Sugar solution. So place sugar solution in the knotted bag and insert a long glass capillary tube till some of the sugar solution rises in the capillary tube. So ek whisking bag ke sugar solution liya hai, टाइप किया उसको उसके अंदर आपने कैपिलरी ट्यूब डाली है तो कैपिलरी ट्यूब डालने से क्या होगा थोड़ा सुगर सोल्यूशन राइज हो जाएगा टाइप द माउथ ऑफ द बैग फॉर्मली अराउंड द कैपिलरी ट्यूब एंड सपोर्ट इट ऑन द क्लैम तो उसको क्लैम स्टैंड पे लगा देना है और इसको डाल देना है एक बीकर में जहां है पानी आफ्टर एन आर द लेवल ऑफ शुगर सोल्यूशन इन द कैपिलरी ट्यूब राइजेस दिस राइज इज ऑल्सो ड्यू टू वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स डिफ्यूजिंग थ्रू द बॉल ऑफ द स्किंग बैग इज दैट क्लियर so what are the key points in the previous experiments that we have done because these key points are extremely important especially from MCQ point of view. Concentration can be visualized from the side of the solvent. So if you solvent, what is solvent? Okay. So if you have 
भी कंसेंट्रेशन हम लोग देख सकते हैं हम हमेशा बात करते हैं कंसेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन कंसेंट्रेटेड सोल्यूशन मतलब जिसमें सोल्यूट ज्यादा है ना पानी कम है बट कंसेंट्रेशन कैन ऑल्सो भी विजुअलाइज फ्रॉम द साइड ऑफ द सॉलिड दैट इज देर आर मोर वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स इन यूनिट वॉल्यूम इन अकर लेस देन इन द सेम वॉल्यूम ऑफ शुगर सोल्यूशन इन दिल्क ओके Thus, there are two regions of different concentration. We call them tonicity. Tonicity is the new term that has been introduced in the chapter. Okay, so two तरीके से हो सकता हो सकता है two regions of different concentration of water molecule या फिर हम two regions of different concentration of sugar molecules के रूप में भी इसे बोल सकते हैं. Okay, is that clear? Is this clear? Now let us study. the second point in the previous experiment the two liquids are separated by a cellophane this is the semi permeable membrane which behaves like a semi permeable membrane a semi permeable membrane is one which allows the passage of molecules selectively it allows only the solvent example water molecules to pass through it freely but prevents the passage of the solute that is sugar or salt molecules in the solution so this is the key two key points that we have understand in this experiment now my dear children yes now is this is the last part of today's lesson how long can osmosis continue this is a very important question and listen to me very carefully hum kab bolte hain kab tak osmosis hota rahega dekho bahar to sirf pani hi pani hai aur andar sugar solution hai to kya pani continuously andar chalta hi rahega to theoretically hum kya bolte hain Theoretically, osmosis should continue till the until the concentration of water molecule becomes equal. That is isotonic on both the sides of the membrane. So, this membrane के दोनों side, okay? This is the membrane. So, इधर का जो water है और इधर का जो water है, दोनों का concentration जब तक same नहीं हो जाता है, तब तक it will keep on moving inside. Okay? Osmosis will keep on happening. When will it stop? When the concentration of here and the concentration inside becomes equal but this is a theoretical concept my dear children this is a theoretical concept okay but when we talk practically okay so in the experiment shown the column of sugar solution in the thistle funnel keeps rising upward with the influx of water from the beaker so beaker se pani andar jata rehta hai aur ye rise hota rehta hai but after a some period of time dekho ओके okay, तो अगर पानी अंदर जाता रहा सी अगर पानी अंदर जाता रहा तो वेट ऑफ दिस थिसल फनल विल कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग द वेट ऑफ द लिक्विड कॉलम इन द थिसल फनल विल कीप ऑन इंक्रीजिंग सो सच एन इंक्रीज इन द हाइट एंड वेट ऑफ द राइजिंग कॉलम रिड्यूसेस फर्दर ऑस्मोसिस तो क्योंकि इसका राइट हाइट भी बढ़ता जा रहा है उसका वेट भी बढ़ता जा रहा है उसकी वजह से ज्यादा ऑस्मोसिस होना वो रोक देगी सो स्टेज विल बी रीच वेयर नो ऑस्मोसिस अपकर्स एक ऐसी स्टेज रीच हो जाएगी जहां और ऑस्मोसिस नहीं होगा इवन दो इवन दो बाहर पानी का कंसेंट्रेशन ज्यादा है और अंदर पानी का कंसेंट्रेशन कम है फिर भी ऑस्मोसिस रुक जाएगा ओके सो स्टेज विल बी रीच व्हेन नो ऑस्मोसिस अपकर्स इवन इफ द कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स इज नॉट द सेम ऑन द टू साइड्स इन दिस स्टेट ऑफ इक्विलिब्रियम द वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स फ्रॉम द बीकर टेंड टू फोर्स अपवर्ड थ्रू द मेम्ब्रेन वाटर मॉलिक्यूल्स ऊपर जाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं धक्का दे रहे हैं मेम्ब्रेन को लेकिन ऊपर का जो वेट है द वेट और द प्रेशर फ्रॉम द अब Holds them downwards. It doesn't allow the water to move up. This will hold it down. Is this clear to you? So, my dear children, this was all about my today's class. So, we have covered half of the chapter of absorption by roots. Okay. So, I hope this is clear to you guys. So, tomorrow I will not be able to take a class. I have a very hectic schedule. So, tomorrow you can watch any of my recorded lessons. I will, if you want, I will upload it. but from day after tomorrow we continue this chapter and we will do a lot of questions from this book and i have ordered a mcq book also so we will do many quizzes as well so please write in the comment section if you have understood this chapter if you have understood this very very well okay okay Okay, entertaining Vaiti says that I want to. You want Menti, so yes, I will be taking up Menti quizzes. Okay. Anything else? So that's saying if I think you are a fake subscriber because you don't want to learn. 
Okay. So if you want to comment like this, you better leave the class. I think you are the fake subscriber, Bitta. Okay, so Varsha has understood everything very well. Please write in the comment section that you have understood the topic well or not. Let because I was really pissed off uh, with Sudha Singh's messages. So please write in the comment section if you have understood this and if you want me to continue doing this. Okay, have you all understood this very well? Have you liked this? Have you liked the class? All of you, please write in the comment section. So it gives me a lot of motivation if you write in the comment section that if you have enjoyed and you have. Okay, thank you. Two boy fitness is telling me, ma'am, are both achieve. Thank you. Anshi Pandey is telling me nice explanation. Thank you, beta. Varsha has understood. Okay, so I can't make a very big WhatsApp group, Bacha, but uh, I have given you my Telegram link. Join there and I will keep on uploading the certificates as well as important notifications there. Okay, so if you guys have understood, please write in the comment section and do forward this information to all of your friends that ma'am is conducting such classes so that all of the students are able to, you know, reap benefits of this. So keep the learning always on. See you guys tomorrow or day after tomorrow. Okay, bye bye my dear students.